Ah yes, the Powerpuff Girls, how we've longed to face them with those creatures from my many HP Lovecraftian novels. In this episode of the Powerpuff Girls, they will face off against some of the most ungodly horrors that they have ever seen. Will they be able to overcome them, or will they fall victim to Yig, the King of the Serpents, perhaps Cthulhu? or Cthulhu, maybe even Shagoth, Dagon, and Nyarlothep all make an appearance in what might be the ultimate mashup Powerpuff Girls versus HP Lovecraftian horrors that the world has ever seen. Now when it comes to horrors, of course, Mojo Jojo is known to recognize the threat before many other creatures. Many other people in the city of Townsville sleep very silently and quietly, but Mojo Jojo is ready to face this threat. He might be the first victim, but his presence will also alert others to the danger. After seeing Mojo Jojo in danger, Bubbles swiftly steps in, knowing that she can take on anything that Cthulhu might be able to throw at her. Seeing just how powerful Cthulhu can swing its whips and its tentacles, Bubbles knows that it can maybe take one more hit and retaliate back with a powerful play rough. Cthulhu is sent back to the darkness. But all is not over with Yig the dragon serpent out here. The very king of serpents, Bubbles knows that she should probably let Professor Utolium analyze this, this threat. Professor Euthonium also has a lot of experience with biology and determining the weaknesses of many creatures. So this is his opportunity to really make a, a mark here. Now, unfortunately, Professor Euthonium didn't account for dragons ruling over most of humanity, and he actually drops to the threat that is Yig. But Blossom, being the fiery spirit that she is, rushes in immediately to avenge her father. Megahorn is not going to be the best move to hit Cthulhu with. Blossom's iron will really isn't enough to do damage to Cthulhu. As Cthulhu, the living flame embodied by Chandelure, retaliates back with a shadow ball, Blossom flies into the air and comes crashing down as hard as she can in an effort to seal this deal. Knowing that Cthulhu is most likely boosted by the powers of darkness and flames and the choice scarf that allow it to move faster, Mojo Jojo now comes back into battle knowing that he can take evil and ghost type attacks pretty easily. And he starts setting up a plan, a plan that will allow him to finish off Dagon and truly bring peace to Townsville. Dagon goes down to the evilest of plots, a thunderbolt, a special ambipom. Dagon could not have seen this coming. Now, as the creeping, nasty Shoggoth comes in with tendrils of poison, it turns out that it's actually Nyarlathlepep, and he has some plots of his own. Being such a, a Malin character in this entire universe he has some plots that actually will never get a chance to get off the ground just because of how evil mojo jojo is now for how evil mojo jojo is he is not faster than the dragon serpent king but he is going to be able to put it in mortal danger of being ko'd and that is where we will see this battle turn for in the back blossom Bubbles and Buttercup all still remain with the support of their mare to finish this battle. Blossom overextends herself thinking that a quick yet weak attack straight to the chin will be enough to finish off Yig, but one should not underestimate the King of the Dragons. Bubbles now comes in to try her luck with an Aqua Jet to finish it off, and here we see the Dragon Serpent King fall, finally. Fueled by the rage of seeing her own partner fall in battle, Bubbles is wisely called back by the mayor, 
because there's no point in staying in when you can leave to fight another day. The mayor steps in knowing that he's a politician. He's used to seeing the most vile and evil, corrupt, poisonous ways of man. But even he is not immune to those very sneaky tactics that others might use. And a critical hit to the mayor's back finishes the mayor's life. Bubbles has now seen her comrades fall. She's seen the mayor fall and only now can she really, really sleep. Dealing critical damage to Shoggoth means that Buttercup finally might be able to come in here and save the day. But in the back, Buttercup knows in the back of her mind that Cthuga sleeps in the darkness. She falls prey to the poison, the poisonous touch of Shoggoth before she finally finishes it off. The battle draws to a close as once again Cthulhu enters the ring. And at this point, it's all up to whether or not a single attack misses. And unfortunately for Buttercup, this is not the case. The critical hits taken by the mare and the extra poison dealt to the people of this team caused the Powerpuff Girls to fall on this day. Will they be able to have revenge in the future? These are the things that we think about. These are the notes that we consider as we wait in the dark. The people of Townsville have seen worse as far as monsters go, so I don't imagine that they'll give up. But is it too late? I hope you guys enjoyed this mishmash of a Lovecraftian novels and Powerpuff Girls and the carnage that is seen on the battlefield. I'll see you guys next time. And if you didn't recognize any of the horrors on my opponent's team, I believe you have some reading to do. Have a good day.